guys today's video is totally different from what i always do here on my channel <laughs> yes actually i had planned to do a success online dating story for you a very beautiful story guys but i couldn't do that i'm so sorry guys <laughs> due to the reasons that i'm going to be explaining to you in today's video so friends it has been a year since i started making videos about interracial dating and online dating but guys i've been receiving comments that sometimes i feel like oh my god how can people be that negative how can people not understand me why do you give yourself a permission to watch only my one video and then judge me at least watch my previous videos to understand what my channel is all about before you judge me before you insult me you guys have been complaining that on online dating apps you face lots of challenges that makes you feel like you wanna give up the negative negative comments that I have been receiving if I just try to take them personal <laughs> or keep them in my heart I think I wouldn't have been here I could have left YouTube long time ago people are judging me because i am supporting you guys achieve your dreams of getting married to a white man people are judging me people are insulting me just because i want you guys to fall in the hands of the right man so i'm going to be putting some of the comments that i received and i was like i don't know how can someone be that negative why don't you guys want to understand i once sat here and i told you guys that please let people be if someone wants to date a white man let that person be let her date a white guy if someone wants to date a black man let that lady date a black man why does it bother you so much if someone chooses to date a certain kind of race what's your problem let people be we are in the world whereby everyone is free to do whatever they want to do i also got a comment someone saying that i should change my titles don't mention white men you are making black men look bad i'll put that comment here so that you can see it so what i want to ask you if you really you have a very positive mind why does it bother you if i write a white man in my titles why what's the problem a white man Man is a human being just like any other human being a black man is a human being just like any other human being we are all equal before God I always tell you this me writing a white man in my titles doesn't mean that I hate black men doesn't mean that black men are bad that's my niche guys that's what people who follow me in this channel are interested so why should I go and write a black man whereby I don't have much subscribers who are interested in black men? Guys, don't take everything that you see or that you watch in a negative way. I also told you guys, I am here to help everyone. Whether you're interested in white men, whether you're interested in black men. If you come to me and tell me, Bella, I'm interested in a black man. I'm not going to tell you no, I'm not going to help you because you're interested in only black men. I help girls who are interested in white men. No, I help you all. You have to know this, guys. <laughs> My reason to be here is for you to be happy, to find yourselves in the right hands whether a black man whether a white man we are all equal before god i repeat guys another comment that i also got recently in the last video that i did of joyce someone said that how can someone dream of getting married to a white man for him it's like it's not a dream but what i want to tell you guys not everyone will have the same things that you think it's a dream if you have a dream of maybe become an engineer that's your dream others just dream of just a simple thing if she achieves it or if he achieves it that's a dream achieved so don't look down on people and be like that's not a dream you can't have such a dream no we cannot all think the same and something else that this guy said he said that on online dating apps exist black men 
who are very good they are genuine you know they want to find love so why should i concentrate only on white men and make them look good and make black men look bad guys that is not my intention i'm not going to sit here guys and offend you that is the last thing that i can do guys <laughs> to offend you people no i respect you so so much you have to know that but i repeat my subscribers are interested in interracial dating yes guys and that's not a crime that is what they choose i'm going to support them achieve their dream <laughs> last time i was helping a friend on online dating apps and i came across black men these guys were black americans and this girl was interested only in white men so i told her please check out these guys they look good they look very genuine do you know what she told me she was like bella no let them be <laughs> they'll be okay i don't want them like seriously i don't want them i was like try no i'm not going to try i don't want them i'm interested only in white men and guys because i respect her I did not continue to push her or to force her please check these guys out please chat with black men no I did not do that I am someone who always tell you stick to your original plan <laughs> so if I'm going to force you that means that what I'm telling you is a lie no stick to your original plan and she sticked to her original plan right now as i'm speaking she has found the one a white guy that she wanted another comment that i got and i was like i don't know why people don't want to understand me <laughs> please you gotta understand why i am here on youtube i've said everything in my videos and i made myself clear after this video i'm not going to talk about this again i promise you guys <laughs> yes so this person was trying to say that i am encouraging you guys to date only white men it is not what i am doing honestly guys be honest if you've been watching me since i started doing these videos is there any day that i sat here and i was like white men are better than black men have i ever done that no i've been trying my best to open your eyes shine your eyes <laughs> even about the dark side of dating a white man i always tell you everything the stories that i have been sharing like miri's story it is such a personal story guys but i came here out of love and shared that story so that you don't find yourself in her situation because well, sometimes you can be on online dating apps you chat with a guy and because you don't know these things you never came across a channel like mine make mistakes but if you come on my channel watch miri's story you chat to a guy who has got those red flags of miri's husband you're gonna be like oh my god i remember the story i watched i'm not going to continue chatting with this guy and that way you will be saved i've been trying to tell you everything about dating a white man i've brought you videos of dating men from different countries and those videos guys let me tell you how i got them i contacted real people i did not go on google and search googling <laughs> no i chatted with real people in those countries some are white men some are ladies who are married to those white men in those countries so i'm not going to come and sit here tell you lies no i tell you things which are real that is why my channel is all about the real talk and those videos when i could ask i could return to a person even five times <laughs> you know i ask and ask and ask and ask confirm <laughs> if i chat with one lady who is in germany i'll make sure i chat with another lady who is in germany in a different city so that i can you know i can confirm of what she told me yes guys all that is not to mislead you guys tell you something that is a lie no guys and those video guys i could ask give me the positive and the negative of dating these men ladies who helped me with those videos they can comment down <laughs> <laughs> and say if i'm telling a lie guys nothing has got only a positive side 
no everything has got its own positive side and its negative side we have to accept that but what i'm telling you if those videos or if the things i've been talking about white guys i could have talked same same things about black men i don't know if i could still be here due to the insults that i could have been receiving yes and it's not that in this channel i don't have white men who watch me i have white men who watch me as my subscribers some are married to black but never have i ever got a comment from those white men saying why are you saying this about white men no it's because they know everything has got a positive side and a negative side they know that i also remember some of my friends that i'm helping on online dating apps always ask me bella what does your husband say when you always tell us these white men these white men these white men <laughs> I tell them my husband understands that exist bad white men and good white men. So he just laughs because he know what I'm saying is the truth. I'm not someone who is going to sit here and be like, oh, if you get married to a white man, they are rich. If you get married to a white man, everything is going to be romantic. If you get married to a white man, he's not going to cheat on you. No, guys. I remember a year ago, I did a video whereby the title was like if you dream getting married to a white man here is my advice and i told you everything guys <laughs> both negative and positive to make you guys understand to make you guys know what you're about to put yourself into i also did a video about how is it like to be in an interracial relationship i told you guys i always tell you everything the problem with you people who come with your negative comments you have not watched my previous videos my channel is not all about pushing black women to date white men no i am supporting black women date whom they want to date period i am same same person same girl who sat here and i told you guys interracial marriages are hard even harder than a marriage of a black woman and a black man because you guys you find yourself in a foreign country with no friends with no one only your husband if something bad happens to you or things changes <laughs> not like the way you expected you find yourself in a very difficult time i am telling you guys but if you got married to your fellow black man you are in your country you know it's a bit different you have people to run to but here guys in europe or you find yourself let's say in america you find yourself in australia <laughs> you don't have anyone that you know there it becomes really really hard that is why i've been telling you interracial marriages are very very hard <laughs> yes very hard but it doesn't mean that they don't work no if you fall in the hands of the right man of course your interracial marriage is gonna work so i'm not someone who is going to sit here and tell you only the positive side of white men so that you can see white men are better than black men no i have brothers who are good husbands to their wives and they're married to black women i have sisters who are married to black men and they are happily married i have friends who are married to black men and they are happily married but that doesn't mean that if you get married to a black man you are going to be happily married like these people i'm telling you <laughs> you might find yourself in the hands of the wrong black man just like i've been telling you exist good white men and bad white men i give you tips to avoid bad white men because i know what it means to be in a relationship with a wrong white man i know guys i've been chatting with ladies who are married to wrong white men i know what they're going through that is why i'm always here guys just because of love just because i want you to be happy be in healthy relationships in healthy marriages guys i also remember my own words i sat here and i told you that in a man what matters the most not his color 
it's the character how he behaves how he treats you and that is all that i always ask when ladies comes on my dm to ask for an advice i ask how does this guy treat you how does he behave does this guy respect you because that is all that matters in a relationship in a healthy relationship but if you choose to date a black man i'm not going to force you date a white guy if you choose to date a white guy i'm not going to force you date a black man because i am here to support you be in a healthy relationship and guys i do videos about dating a white man interracial dating online dating because most people who have followed me are after those videos they get help through those videos i'm not gonna change that guys i am so sorry if you think that seeing a white man on my titles or you hearing me talking about white men white men bothers you so much please please youtube gave you an option of clicking off yes i'm sorry it makes me sad it hurts me if you click off on my video but guys if it makes you feel unhappy better click off now let's go to another comment and this is all about the stories that i have been sharing this really makes me very very sad okay i did a video about joyce's story a girl who met a russian guy that video went viral and i thank god it's doing very very good so i've been getting comments there is a lady who came wrote i think she's a white lady married to a russian guy and she came talked very nicely about russian guys and then i responded i was like wow really guess what guys came a lady and this lady attacked me started calling me a liar <laughs> that i should stop lying to people if i think russian men are good i should go and stay with them or get married to them then i will know so guys where am i becoming a liar that was joyce's story her experience dating a russian guy <laughs> and also the comment of that lady that said russian men are good that wasn't my comment it was a lady who is in a relationship with a russian guy where am i becoming a liar where <laughs> guys if you've got bad experience in dating a certain kind of a man from a certain country don't come and attack people no guys <laughs> I'm here to tell you don't date a bad man <laughs> if you ignored the red flags now you are in trouble don't bring your frustrations on me please please I said not all men are good and not all men are bad <laughs> so if you're married to a bad Russian man that's you girl that's your experience but the majority says that russian men are responsible when i did a video about russian men i also mentioned the positive side of dating a russian guy and the negative side of dating a russian guy i never said only positive things about russian men because i'm not a hypocrite and i'm not a liar so before you call me a liar watch very well my videos <laughs> so guys i got another comment about the story times that i always share with you <laughs> and you always enjoy them which makes me very very happy but sadly i got some people who are saying that why can't you bring those couples to talk for themselves or someone watches the video and say ah the story is nice but i think it will be very interesting if you could bring these couples to tell the story for themselves so what i want to tell you dear subscriber <laughs> is that first of all that is the way i do things in this channel i am telling you a story and through that story i give you tips about online dating because these couples have met on online dating and you guys who are watching my videos you enjoy them you are here to get the tips about online dating so that you can find the right men on online dating so i'm not going to change my original plan 
<laughs> and bring the couples to speak for themselves i'm going to stick to my original plan the only thing i will do i'll just add some things like you have been seeing i add some photos i add some videos about these couples you know to make the story more interesting and real yes guys because you guys have no idea of how i get these stories you have no idea of the challenges i go through to get those stories for you guys <laughs> yeah because some couples are not camera friendly <laughs> they say i'm going to give you a story but i'm not ready to stay on the camera and talk not only that people are busy they don't have that time to come and sit down narrate their stories but because i am a content creator and we are supposed to be creative that is why i've been going out there to request for their stories and i am so thankful that they have been very very cooperative to share their stories with us and through the stories that i have shared guys they have helped lots lots of ladies i always get the feedback on my instagram dm yes so i am sure of what i am talking about if you don't enjoy my stories if you don't like the way i tell my stories again guys youtube gave you an option of clicking off it breaks my heart to talk like this it really breaks my heart trust me guys but if it is something that is going to make you angry make you a negative person better click off so guys i got another comment someone saying that colonialism is going to come back mark my words <laughs> guys just because i am talking of white men <laughs> how can you guys be that negative please try to be positive yes what happened in the colonialism era isn't good guys it's not good we cannot just allow ourselves to keep living in the past we have to move on that is why i've been advising ladies if you're dating a white guy and you come to find out that he has got a racist behavior better leave him even if this guy is not a racist to you but he is a racist towards your fellow black people just leave that guy why am i saying that because i know exist white guys who are racist exist white guys who want to stay with a black woman and torture her because they have that you know racism in them and you should be careful about them i'm not hiding this it's because i want to paint white men as you know good men they are so good they are good husbands no i always tell you the truth clearly i don't hide anything i'm not here to sugarcoat anything but please don't bring that colonialism word on my channel <laughs> just because i'm talking of white men i remember when i saw this comment i showed it to my husband and my husband started laughing i was like this guy is strange because <laughs> he told me that his grandfather in that era of colonialism went to ethiopia to fight the war <laughs> and he was like oh my god if my grandfather could wake up right now and see that i'm married to a black woman <laughs> we have a child <laughs> and see all black women in italy he could be like so it was a wastage of time for me to go to ethiopia to fight for the war <laughs> fight black people <laughs> yes because those are the things of the past because guys because my husband's grandfather went to ethiopia to fight the war <laughs> during those era then my husband wasn't supposed to marry a black woman <laughs> say no to love no he couldn't do that because love has no color guys it has no color <laughs> so you guys stop guys i am open to correction i am very very open but please stop Stay respectful just like the way I am respecting you. Please, please. <laughs> yeah, you can disagree with whatever I say. It's okay. We cannot all think the same. I beg you to be respectful. I have to achieve my dream. I have to achieve my goal. And my goal is to help you guys find true love. But with right men fall in the hands of the right men yes guys so guys to wrap it up now i am coming to you all ladies that have been coming on my dm on instagram i talked of this but i am repeating again in a day 
I chat with lots, lots of women, helping them, giving them advice and guidance on online dating and relationships in general. And guys, because right now you are so many, it is becoming very difficult for me. It takes lots of my time. Remember guys, I am a wife, I am a mother, I have to work. I have this YouTube channel to work on too. <laughs> this brings me to all of you who have requested videos from me. September, I am starting to bring those videos to you guys. Because I'm still working on them so bear with me let's keep on with the story time and once I am done I am going to bring those requested videos to you I still remember all your requested videos yes guys so back to what I was saying due to that it takes lots of my time to chat with you guys on Instagram I am begging you if you're coming for an advice on my Instagram it's not that I'm going to help you that day and say ciao ciao don't come to me ever again no it's that I am going to keep on helping you helping you some ladies have been helping them it's a year now so what I'm requesting you please if you're capable of joining my channel membership please please join my channel membership so that it can be very effective so that I can give you my time because the ladies I am helping right now or the ladies that I give priority more are the ladies that have joined my channel membership so I first help those and then if your message stays a week without being answered don't feel like I am ignoring you no I am giving the first priority to ladies who have paid for my channel membership so if you also want that first priority when you write to me I get back to you soon please join my channel membership and not only that guys imagine chatting with you for a year or six months <laughs> that's a lot of time but because i know life can be hard that's why my membership price is not all that high high it's only four euros 99 so please guys join my channel membership so that we can help each other so that you can help this channel grow as the part of support because when you guys join my channel membership youtube sees that it's a very positive thing and the channel grow and i hope more more people yes guys that is all i wanted to tell you about my channel membership because there are some ladies who have been coming when i tell them go please join my channel membership and return so that we can continue i help you they feel offended some of them disappear <laughs> yes guys don't disappear don't feel offended we have to help each other it takes time guys they say time is money so guys let us help each other i remember there is a lady who questioned me she was like bella why should i pay for this membership <laughs> I told her it is to guide you, it is to give you advice on online dating and relationships because you want some advice from me, you want some guidances. And she was like, how many people have you helped? <laughs> I said, maybe this girl does not watch my YouTube videos. So please join my channel membership. It's not that I'm forcing you. No, guys, if you can, please join. If you can't, I will still help you. But if I take long, don't please think that I am ignoring you. Please let's be positive. Don't be someone who goes on someone's channel and then be like, oh, I've watched this video, it's nice, but where did she go wrong? Where is the mistake? Don't look for those small, small faults because we are not perfect, guys. We are not perfect at all. Stay positive, be respectful, be kind please please it's a promise i know when you saw the thumbnail <laughs> or the title you were like oh my god is bella leaving us no i'm not leaving youtube at all i am here i'll keep supporting you so that you can achieve your dreams <laughs> not my dreams guys your dreams of finding the right man for marriage 
whether a white man or a black man <laughs> yes guys so guys positive vibes only and on my next video guys i'm going to be sharing with you a very beautiful success story that you will really enjoy a lot <laughs> i don't want to talk so much let us meet in my next video thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you much much i hope it helps you i hope it makes you a positive person <laughs> if you were a negative person please keep supporting me give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy it and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good please subscribe if you have not subscribed until next time guys ciao ciao you are always here in my heart Mwah.